Hello, dear friend. Hello and welcome one more time to another episode, the Bible study, the series of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. I am Gian, the founding pastor of Victory Church. From Odessa, I say hello. <laughs> what if you go to our website, vchurch.us? From there, you can connect to the Vimeo channel, the Roku channel, the Facebook channel page, also the YouTube channel, the, and the podcast. We would love if you can go there and uh, remember, give us a like, make a comment, and share the episodes with other people. That will be lovely. Remember, we have tons of materials. We broadcast daily here in Victory Church, simply because the good Lord is giving us so much to share, and that is the privilege that we have here today. I receive a report. We are reaching near 450,000 views of our videos per month at this point in March. So I'm very, very happy to hear that because there are more people watching and connecting. And I thank my team, my wife, Tracy, and my son, Sebastian, and everybody else, my church members, how wonderful work they are by being faithful. You know that thanks to the contributions of each one of them, and of course, my own contributions, we can move forward with our ministry. So feel free to go and help us. vchurch.us forward slash give is one way to go or a simple text message. We appreciate that. So here we go today reading from the easy to read version. Romans chapter uh, 13 from verses 7 to 9. And we read in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. So, Lord, help us, please. And we read. Give everyone what you owe them. If you owe them any kind of tax, then pay it. Show respect to those you should respect. And show honor to those you should honor. You should owe nothing to anyone except that you will always owe love to each other. The person who loves others has done all that the law commands. The law says you must not commit adultery, you must not murder anyone, you, know, you must not steal, you must not want that belongs to someone else. All these commands and all other commands are really only one rule. Love your neighbor the same as you love yourself. You know, only three verses, seven, eight, and nine. But there is so much to say about this, because honestly, this portion contains so many wonderful things. So I'm going to try to be concise on this. And let's just start with verse number seven, when it talks about paying taxes. We have discussed this before. If you want your city, your fire department, the school district, the law enforcement in your city to work well, if you expect that the congressman in your territory will do the right thing in general. If you expect that authorities will do their job, you have a responsibility by paying taxes. And uh, many people don't want to do that. So how can they expect that the city and officials will do their job without having the money to pay for all the expenses that this requires? It's pretty much like, a, for example, a, here it says, show respect to you should respect and honor to you should honor. It, it is the same concept. You have obligations. Did you hear that? You do have obligations. No, I don't want to hear that, Gian. Come on, tell me about how much God loves me. Tell me that God forgives me for everything that I have done in my life. Tell me that, uh, that the Bible tells me that uh, everything is going to be all right. Of course I can tell you that. But it's incomplete. If you don't hear the other side of the Bible message, the Bible message is a, is a message of love. The Lord Jesus dying for you, paying the price for your forgiveness, and so you will be free of guilt and you will go to heaven. That's the Bible's message is God's love for you. But the Bible's message also contains principles. 
and conditions to receive the promises. So you, you cannot be naive or try to play fool, try to act like a little kid that just thinks that uh, electricity comes from some source and ignores that somebody has to pay the electric bill. Come on. <laughs> Respect, honor, and money. All those things. You have obligations, my friend. But you don't want to fulfill obligations, right? So, if you don't want to fulfill obligations, you're not going to advance in life. Is that what you want? I don't think so. Something as simple as getting a cup of coffee. Let's say you and I agree that we will meet and we will have a cup of coffee somewhere. In my home even. In your home. So we don't spend much more money, right? Fine. But regardless, a cup of coffee, it costs money. Somebody has to pay for that cup of coffee. Everything has a cost. And wherever you go, you need to learn to respect people and to give honor to people. So that is the thing. But if you cannot see yourself as, some, as someone with obligations to establishments, whether they are commercial businesses or they are state or city offices or even nonprofits like a church or a club or whatever, it doesn't matter where you go. People need to be respected and authorities in those places, they need to be honored. You know, you don't, you don't have a fool, uh, somebody that is really not wise, being the leader, the manager, the director, the CEO of, a, of an organization. Those people have some level of intelligence. Do you possess certain level of intelligence, my friend? I know you do. I'm being rhetoric. What I want you to see is that wherever you go, think about this. People in authority in places that need to be respected and honored, they are there because they earn that place. And those who were put there because of whatever reasons, they are not going to last. You know that. So don't bother criticizing them. It's just a matter of time. But people that are in places as supervisors, directors, leaders, etc., they need to be honored and respected. And wherever you go and you are doing things there, remember everything has a cost. So somebody has to pay for those things. Let's keep reading. Verse 8. You should owe nothing to anyone except that you will always owe love to each other. So here's the important uh, matter too. is about paying debts. Which of course nobody wants to do. Everyone wants to get a, a loan and not pay for that loan. But that's not right. What is the purpose of the loan? It's an emergency, health situation. Or just you want to purchase something. Well of course, after fulfilling all obligations... You get the loan, you get whatever you needed. So now it's time for you to make the payments. Be consistent on that. Make the payments. Now, he says, but if there is something that we will owe all the time to people is love. To love one another. And this is very beautiful. It says, the person who loves others has done all that the law commands. This is so profound, my friend. It's so profound. And I don't think that people really sees how deep is this concept because God is love the essence of, a good, of our good Lord is love he created love because he is love he possesses love he is love he gives love all the time he doesn't hold love to anybody on the contrary he's always sharing his love he has showed us how much the Lord loves the world that he gave his only son. So whoever believes in him will have eternal life. You see? Love. So it says, the person who loves others has done all that the law commands. 
Why is that? Because when you love somebody, when you love people, when you finally learn to love people, you immediately are going to respect everybody, regardless how they behave. You're going to be respectful. You're going to be honorable. You're going to be a man of your word. You want to make sure that you pay your debts. You treat people the right way. It says, it says, all these commands and all other commands are really one, one rule, only one rule. It says, love your neighbor the same as you love yourself. Because the core of the kingdom of God is love. It's the Lord's love himself. That's the core. But that love comes to you. You receive his love and you learn quickly how much the Lord loves you. So you learn to love yourself, respect yourself. And as a result of respecting yourself, listen carefully. As a result that, that you respect yourself, you are going to do what is right all the time. And you treat everybody the right way all the time. You don't have in your mind wrong ideas about people, regardless how they are. You don't have in your heart bad feelings towards anybody, regardless how they are. You learn to love everybody because you respect yourself, because you know how much the Lord loves you. And that, my friend, is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever is telling you that such and such people, regardless of race, or political views, or religion views, or nationalities, or all those things. If you hear people trying to put other people down because they are different and they think differently, there is one thing you can see there. Lack of love. Lack of love. Don't make that mistake. You go to the store, you're going to love everybody. You're going to be online chatting with some agent from a company. You're going to be nice to that person. You're going to be on the phone with somebody that is helping you to fix a situation. You're going to be nice to that person. In your home, wherever is, whomever is around you, doesn't matter what's the situation, you're going to be nice to those people. Why? Because you respect yourself. You know the Lord loves you. He is love. He is in you. He wants you to behave that way, loving one another. Thank you for being here with me. I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. Hey, 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 hey. That's all. That's all. That's all, folks. <laughs> Time to go home. <laughs> Ciao. by Giancarlo Vicitoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy, until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video.